This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, when I was a little boy, I could hardly wait to grow up. I dreamed of being an astronaut or a scientist. The Apollo missions to the moon fascinated me. When I looked at my parents or other grown-ups, I just could not wait to grow up. In the history of the church, theologians and spiritual writers have described growing up in the Christian life in three stages. Some of these writers include St. John of the Cross, St. Thomas Aquinas, and the contemporary theologian Serve Pinkers, whose material I am borrowing in this article. There are many other writers as well. They describe growth in the Christian life in three stages that I will call practice or beginners, second, accomplishment or the virtuous, and third, excellence or the saints. Perhaps you have learned to play a musical instrument or a sport. Was it easy to learn to play in the beginning? No, it was hard. And we had to practice, practice, practice. Playing the musical instrument in the beginning was difficult, and let's face it, it probably did not sound very well. We had to keep practicing, and the practicing may have seemed difficult, boring, or even tedious. After sticking with it, however, it does begin to get easier, and we begin to sound better when we play. After a few years, we might even be able to play quite well. And what seemed so difficult in the beginning now seems like second nature to us. These musicians have reached a stage of accomplishment in learning to play the musical instrument. They can play well with consistency. Beyond accomplishment is the truly excellent musician who has mastered the instrument. These are the musicians that all the other musicians want to emulate. Growing in the Christian moral life follows a similar process. In the beginning, it is not always easy to be good. We have to learn the commandments and keep practicing just like learning to play a musical instrument. After some time, however, keeping the commandments becomes easier for us, almost second nature. This is just like the accomplished musician who has learned to play well. This does not mean that we never sin, just like the accomplished musician might still play a wrong note here or there. However, it does mean that we are able to be good most of the time and being good is easier. In this second stage of the Christian moral life, the virtues or the skills to be good have become strong. If we keep growing, we become like the saints who have attained excellence in the moral life. Here we live the virtues to a heroic degree and we are docile in following the promptings of the Holy Spirit. This third stage of the Christian moral life is marked by the Holy Spirit. Of course, the Holy Spirit is active in all the stages of the Christian moral life. However, in the beginning, we have not always learned how to follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit. The saints are true examples of what it means to live a life in the Holy Spirit and to follow the Holy Spirit's promptings 
in loving God and our neighbor. So the Christian moral life is all about growing up to be a saint, to deepen our friendship with Jesus. This is Bishop John Durfler of the Diocese of Marquette.